All right, so today we're in the workshop. I will want to talk about uh, engine mount, front engine mount bolts on these bikes. Now, this is a, a customer bike they've dropped off here. He has gone, he bought it second hand and he's gonna fit crash bars and he was pulling the bolt out. And you can see here, focus, that the bolt has pulled the thread out with it. Now, the other thing I found here is inside here on the right hand side, there is an adjuster. Now, I don't know, you can probably see just the, the lines inside there. You can see the, right, that actually spins around. So I put my finger in that. I can turn that. And what that does is it fills that gap in there. See, there's a gap there. Now, if I wind, if I wind that adjuster in, one-handed and filming, that adjuster winds that shredded sleeve over and you'll see it's now filled that gap. Okay, so what, what's happened is this bolt, I think, has come loose. He bought it second hand. Maybe the previous bike had crash bars on it. Anyway, the bolt's come loose and it's ruined the shred in there or whatever. It's been cross-shredded previously. And then this adjuster has wound itself out. So when I finish putting a heli coil in here, I will have to wind that in, put some preload on that and then lock in. Now, that's the thread in there. It doesn't look all yummy, but we'll fix it up. It's not the first one we've helicoiled here. Now, just talking about helicoils, helicoils actually add about 40% strength than a bolt straight into alloy. So you actually, they're actually stronger than a bolt threaded straight into alloy. And a lot of high performance alloy blocks actually have helicoils in for the head bolts and main bolts and stuff for that extra strength. And again, you can go time certs and all sorts of things. All right. I'll have to do this in bit by bit, so because I'm only here by myself. So here's our Helicore kit. Now it's an M12 by 1.25. We've got other kits here, but this is a kit we bought early in the piece for these. It's a new tattoo, it's skin, skin's gone off it. So that's it there. And I'm also gonna have to go over to the tap drawer and get an M12 by 1.25 dry nut to clean the bolt up. So what I've done now is I've put a bar in that hole to center it, and then I put this bolt back in here and I've just nipped it with this Allen head screw thing, uh, just to nip it up and then get that dead in center. So I drilled it without any problem. Okay, got it all centered, drilled it, and then I've just tapped it. Here's the tap here, bit of grease on it. What I did when I tapped it, because uh, I wanted to sort of get even pressure with the tap, I got a, a wheel, I don't know what you call it, a wheel nut, axle, axle adapter. We use in the rides with multiple size axles. That tap actually just fit nicely in there. Okay, and then all I did was put a 17 mil socket on and went straight in there like that. And that gave me the ability to be straight and and accurate now. So that's all tapped out and blowing the hole out. Come on, focus. All right. So now I'll put the helicoil in. Now, put the helicoil, just a couple of things to remember. Uh, there's our helicoil kit. Obviously the drill, I've taken the drill out of it, the kit. Uh, I've just tried one of the helicoils on there to make sure it's the right one. And I've also cleaned the bolt up, but that was the bolt before with the aluminium on it. And I used, Our die nut here, just to confirm it's a 12 by 1.25 and our kit is a 12 by 1.25. So what I'm going to do now is I'll get a helicoil and I'll wind this helicoil in with this kit. I'll adjust this, this sleeve here to sit on the end of this. So when it comes in like that, sorry, when it comes, I sort of sit about like that and that I'll adjust this up, this collar up to be against there and I'll wind it in until the end of it is this 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 end here is just past flush of the hole and then this tool here we'll put this tool in we'll give it a tap on the end of it and the point of this tool here that tool is this is going to be hard see this tab here this this drive tab if you can just if we can focus in here i don't know if it'll focus you can see a little a little nick in it there when we tap that in that in through the hole. God, this is hard one-handed. 
So I imagine that's in the hole. We'll tap it in and then when we tap the end of that, it'll break that tab off. And then we'll get a magnet and pull it, or prepare along those pliers, sorry. Because it probably isn't magnetic and we'll tap it out. Thanks, compressor. Okay, so we can see in there that we've got our helicoil almost. We need probably another half turn. You can just see the tip of it there. Once we get that half turn in, we can wind that collar, which is that washer bit that's in there, we can wind that collar out. So we'll just go back here. We'll get our tool here, put it in here. And I couldn't put that sleeve up against there because it's got to work in here. So we're getting just another half turn or so. All right, we'll double check that we are behind. Yep, so it's flush. And now, as I've mentioned before, we'll get our biggest screwdriver here and we'll wind this, see this sleeve moving? Wind that in. Put a little bit of preload on that. There you go. And now we need to break that tab off. See the tab down in there? And we've also closed now gap up, torch back on. Closed our gap up in here. So we're up against the side of the engine now. So I put that tool, remember I was talking about this tool here. I put that in and I just tapped on the end of it. And you can see now it's broken that tab off. So now it's a continual thread and we should be able to go in here with the magnet and pull that piece out. Bingo. Right, so we've never seized up our bolt, a little bit of grease, and if all, and we've got our stepped washer, which sits in this step area here, if all is well in the world, this should, by all rights, wind in with your fingers. Look at that. That's in a flush. We'll go over here to our tension wrench. We'll look up our, we'll look up our tension, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but I'll look that up and then yeah, we'll, uh, we'll tension it off. Righto, so we've never seized up. We've got it in, we've got it in, it's finger tight. We've got our tension, we just ran Lincoln up. We've got a manual there, but it's on the phone. Anyway, Lincoln knows all that sort of stuff. Andy double checked it. So it's 55 foot pound. So we'll see if it's going to take tension, which it should. Beautiful. There you go. Good repair.